Our next speaker is representing Mr. Dominique Lepage, whom is working on quantum semiconductor-based SPR biosensing under the supervision of Professor Jan Debowski from the Université de Sherbrooke in Canada. Hello, everybody. As you might be aware of, the detection of viruses, bacteria, or other biological agents is a key concern for healthcare and public safety management. The rapid and reliable identification of pathogens is essential for both routine visits to the physician or throughout pandemic scenarios, such as the recent swine flu events. At the Université de Sherbrooke, we use semiconductor and laser technologies to enable such assessments. We therefore have developed an original solution, resulting in an inexpensive and miniaturized device potentially capable of detecting specific pathogens. This device is monolithically built starting with a quantum well semiconductor light source or laser substrate on which a dielectric metal dielectric photonic architecture is constructed. The embedded light source has the advantage of generating an uncollimated and broadband electromagnetic wave. Thus, the photonic architecture built atop the semiconductor will be exposed to a continuum of in-plane wave vectors or angles and injected energies. These features allow a complete mapping of the photonic response from the system. The measurement of this response is made in a far field using hyperspectral technology where a three-dimensional cube of intensities, function of the energy E, and the in-plane wave vectors Kx and Ky is collected in real time. By taking slices within the cube of information, we can actually observe the dispersion relation of the light within the monolithic system and its specific surface plasmon resonances. <laughs> Exposing the device's surface to biomolecules induces a change in the system's photonic response. The dispersion relation of the monitored surface plasmon resonances will thus be shifted by the superficial events. Tracking the multidimensional SPR shift then provides precise information on the biochemical reactions occurring at a given time. From a single sample, over 320 million elements are simultaneously monitored this way for a given time. In other words, our approach represents up to 100 million traditional SPR experiments conducted concurrently. Our monolithically integrated and rich technological platform generates potential applications in biodetection where price, rapidity and portability can be important implementation factors. For more information, feel free to visit us at www.dabowski.ca. Alright, see you all soon.